Hi and welcome to a new video. On January 7, 2010, Intel released their first i3 CPU. Intel intended the Core i3 as the new low end of the performance processor line, following the retirement of the Core 2 brand. The CPU was unique in a few ways. It was one of the first Intel CPUs with integrated graphics and it was overclockable. Yes, the first Intel i3 was overclockable, what we didn't see until the not too recent release of the i3-7350K. The CPU I am testing today is the i3-540. It has two cores and four threads, running at 3.06 GHz and it has a 73W TDP. When it was released, it was sold for around $117. Today you can buy it used as cheap as £3 or $4. So, is this 7 year old first generation i3 still usable today? The CPU on stock speeds scores 223 in Cinebench R15, in multicore benchmark. It is not too impressive, but still an ok result for a 7 year old CPU. But as I said, the CPU can be overclocked out of the box. So I spent a bit of time to see how far it can go. I didn't push it to its limits, but I got it to 4 years. I think it's impressive even for today's standards. The multicore Cinebench score went from 223 to 285. That's a 28% increase in performance. To be honest, that was the only benchmark I tested before and after the overclock. Just wanted to have some guideline on how much increase I'm getting. The CPU was running stable and cool at 4 GHz. The temps didn't went over 62C. I was using the TX3i from Cooler Master to cool down the CPU. So it was time to fire up some games and test this CPU. For the tests I am using a GTX 750Ti and 8GB of DDR3 memory. I run a few synthetic benchmarks and the gaming benchmarks as well. So let's jump into the benchmarks. I am pleased with the performance of this old i3. It is not the fastest CPU I ever seen, but for the price what you can get it, I think it is a very decent CPU. The GTX 750Ti might be the perfect GPU for it. There was no CPU or GPU bottlenecking. I might try the CPU with some higher end graphics cards, to see how far it can go before it starts to be a bottleneck. The motherboards are fairly cheap for the 1156 socket. Also, the DDR3 is way cheaper now than the DDR4. So, if you pair it with the 750Ti or something slightly faster, you can get a decent PC for some 1080p gaming on medium settings for a good price. That's all for today, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below if you have something to add or ask. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.